All right, so here's the video layout for the wiring so that I can make sure I get everything back where it goes. All right, so to start with, we'll start with the mag. It's the easiest one. Uh, the mag, we have V plus and V minus, so voltage plus and voltage minus are both being utilized. The red wire from the voltage plus is actually going to trace all the way down to the NC plus on the power supply. Continuing on, the voltage minus is on the mag is going to trace all the way over to the remote and goes into normally closed for the remote. That's everything on the mag. Since we're already over here at the remote, we'll go ahead and trace the remote to close the circuit for the normally closed right there. We will use the COM. COM from the remote will actually trace all the way over and go into COM on the power supply. Continuing with the remote, we have now you, we've now shown NC and COM. So what we have left is 12 volt plus and 12 volt negative. Start with 12 volt plus. 12 volt plus will actually trace all the way over and into 12 volt plus on the uh, 12 volt plus on the power supply. 12 volt minus, get it in there, 12 volt minus will actually trace down and feeds into this little cluster, but then we'll continue on right here and we'll come over into ground. So 12 volt minus from the remote will go into ground on the power supply. That takes care of all four wires from the remote. So we'll go ahead and move over to the access control panel. Access control panel is utilizing three wires. 12 volt plus, ground, and push are normally open. The 12 volt plus will actually trace all the way over to 12 volt plus on the power supply. Ground, as expected, will actually trace all the way over into, let's get that out of the way, will trace all the way over into the cluster that then moves into the ground on the power supply. And then push or normally open on the access control panel will actually trace into this cluster right here, which then feeds into push on the power supply. And that's everything in the control panel. And then our exit switch has got an L and an L1, or L1 and L. The L1 is going to feed into the cluster here that then goes into push on the power supply and the L from the exit button goes into this cluster which then goes into ground on the power supply. That should be the entire wiring sequence for the device. So go ahead and Turn this over for testing. Plug this in for testing purposes. All right, everything engages. Get a green light whenever we've got an engaged mag. We'll start with the control panel. Uh, obviously the control panel has a uh, default uh, um, code. 
it's engaging. That disengages, that disengages the lock. Three seconds later, by default, it re-engages. Relocked. All right, you can uh, get security fobs or security cards. Well, I've got a card here. Once in process, it will unlock and then reconnect. Our access control button here. We'll disconnect. Three seconds later, reconnects. And then the remote is going to disconnect and will stay disconnected until we re engage it. And that's everything. So there's the wiring sequence, and everything works.